Do you hate spending hours and hours trying to find the perfect prompt? Wouldn't you rather spend more of that time actually creating and writing? I know I would. And even the name prompt engineering is kind of intimidating, especially when you know that a single word difference in your prompt could give you different or even worse results in your output. But what if I told you that I don't actually write most of my prompts anymore? Thanks to one simple tool that does all of the work for me, which means that the only thing I have to worry about is tweaking and refining that prompt as I use use it, which is a lot easier than having to come up with the prompt myself in the first place. By using this tool, you will also save a ton of time and the output that you get from these prompts will likely be better as a result. So in this video, I'm going to show you what this tool is, who developed it and why you should trust them and how you can use it to greatly improve your prompts for better results. To start, let's look at what this tool actually is and why it matters. Now I've actually watched basically every video that I could find on YouTube about how to create a prompt that creates prompts. And while I found a couple of decent results out there, none of them really hit it out of the park. So I'm still looking. But eventually I realized that I actually don't need to rely on these self-appointed prompt gurus to find my prompts. I could go straight to the experts themselves. Who are these experts? Well, this tool comes from Anthropic, which is the company behind the Claude models, which as anyone who's followed my channel knows is my favorite general family of models out there. And they've even put out some of my favorite resources to learn prompt engineering if that is something you wanna do, including this prompt library that you see here, as well as this prompt engineering guide. So they definitely know their stuff. But where exactly is this tool that I'm talking about and how can you find it and use it? Well, the first step is to go to this website, which you can find at console.anthropic.com. This is the playground that Anthropic offers and it's where you can find a number of different tools. But the one we're looking for today is this one right here, this button that says generate a prompt. Now I've literally been using this tool uh, almost on a daily basis. I use it quite frequently to refine and enhance my prompts and just to kind of make sure that the prompt are being spoken in a way that is familiar to large language models. So we're going to do a example here. I want to create a prompt that can take a chapter of fiction text and kind of break down what's going on from a plot structure and character perspective. So all I have to do for this first part is just kind of word dump everything that I can think of about this prompt. This is basically the first step I would do if I were going to write the prompt myself. But rather than have to think about structure, the prompt correctly and making sure I got every word correct, I can just sort of dump everything that I can think of. So I'm going to say, you are an expert literary analyst. I'd like you to take a chapter of fiction text that I will give you from this text. I'd like you to create one paragraph detailing the overall plot structure of the chapter and what it's doing from a storytelling perspective talk generally using words like protagonist, antagonist, inciting incident, conflict, and other plot centric words when appropriate. Then write another paragraph outlining what is happening with the characters. Again, use the more generic terms and what is happening with this chapter from a character development perspective. And then just to make sure I add extra emphasis to this fact, I'll say don't reference specific characters or moments, locations, or other specific references to this specific text. Just give us a generic description as if you were writing an outline template based on the given text. Okay, so that's a general idea here, nothing too fancy. And this prompt that I just wrote just now off the top of my head could still work, but there's a chance that there are ways to enhance it and to get the AI to kind of structure it in a way that the AI understands and that the people at Anthropic understands, they're the experts, right? There's a good chance that the prompt that it will give me will 
appeal to the AI more, especially with the Claude models. These prompts that it gives me will work with other models as well, but you may have to tweak them depending on which model you are using. But for sure with the Claude models, this is probably the best way to go. And as everyone knows, I use the Claude models quite frequently for a lot of different tasks. So from this, I'll go ahead and hit generate, and it gives me a whole bunch of well-structured prompting instructions. So let's walk through this really quickly. You are an expert literary analyst tasked with analyzing a chapter of fiction text. Your goal is to provide a generic description of the chapter's plot structure and character development without referencing specific characters, locations, or other details unique to the text. Here's the chapter text you will analyze. And in XML tags, it says chapter text. And so this is where we are meant to insert the chapter text. This is important because when we are using a tool like Novel Crafter, this will actually make it a little bit easier. And so we can say, please follow the, these steps. And then it gives us really well-structured steps here. So we have one, analyze the plot structure of the chapter. Consider elements such as the overall narrative arc, any inciting incidents, conflicts, and resolutions. Think about how this chapter fits into broader storytelling techniques. I may have to tweak this one because it's saying some things that I'm, I'm not sure I intended, uh, but that happens. Uh, examine the character development within the chapter. Consider how the characters refer to generically as protagonists antagonists, supporting characters, etc. evolve, interact, and contribute to the narrative. Compose your analysis in two paragraphs. A, the first paragraph should detail the overall plot structure of the chapter and its storytelling aspects. Use plot-centric terms such as protagonist, antagonist, inciting inf incident, conflict, rising action, climax, etc. where appropriate. The second paragraph should outline the character development aspects of the chapter. Discuss how the characters are portrayed, their roles in the narrative, and any significant changes or revelations about them. That sounds good. Remember to keep your analysis generic, avoiding specific specific references to characters, locations, or unique elements of the text. Your goal is to create an outline template that could apply to similar chapters in other works. Present your analysis within the analysis tags with each paragraph enclosed in a paragraph tag. This is something that it does sometimes. It's really meant more for developers who want to use these things in other ways. So I am actually just going to cut this part off because I know I'm not going to need that particular thing. So we're left with this prompt right here. And this is perfect. We may have to tweak it, but that's normal. So now what do we do with this? Because it's not quite this simple. Now we need to make sure that this prompt works for us and any prompts you create work for you, which may require some tweaking, which is actually my favorite part. For example, I used this prompt generator to create a prompt that would help me to modernize ancient texts. So take an older text that maybe is a little difficult to understand and put it into more modern English. Went to take that prompt and apply it to an epic poem that came from the 16th century. I looked at the output it was giving me and sometimes the verses would be repeated back to me in a kind of regular modern prose as a paragraph. Sometimes it would be in lines like a verse, but without the rhyme scheme and everything because it's putting it into modern English. And it was inconsistent. The numbering was sometimes off. And so I had to go through and give it more specific instructions for what to do with poetry, specifically separate paragraph, just in regular prose. And after I did that, it did everything perfectly. So there are instances where you're going to have to tweak this. So let me walk you through exactly how to do that and how we're going to use this prompt in another tool that I recommend. To do this, we're going to use one of my favorite tools for writing fiction and nonfiction with AI, and that's Novel Crafter. But understand that you could go through a similar process like what I'm going to show you right now using Claude, and it's the paid version of Claude Pro. You could also use it in ChatGPT or ChatGPT Plus, Gemini, any other tool. You could basically go through a similar process. You would just have to tweak some of the steps a little bit to make it fit that particular tool. But I'll show you how it works here in Novel Crafter. So we'll go ahead and copy this prompt that we have here and go into Novel Crafter. After. And then down here at the bottom left, we're going to go to prompts. And rather than create a new prompt from scratch, I'm just going to find another prompt that will do the trick. And I'm just going to come over here and clone the prompt. So we now have a clone and I'm just going to call this the story hacker, because this is the idea behind story hacking is the idea of analyzing every chapter and saying, what does this chapter do? And coming up with a kind of outline template from that. And then I'm just going to paste this in here. Uh, I am going to take this first line here and actually put it in the system message here because that's more of a system message type message. And then it says, here's the chapter text you will analyze. Chapter text, please follow these steps, etc. Everything here is good. The only thing I need to make sure here is that we've got the right models. So I could add any model right here. This is just, I'll say Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And we'll leave everything at default for now. We can always tweak the temperature and other things later. But you can also add other models here. If I wanted to do GPT-4.0, for example, I could come down here. There's a big list of models 
models that we have access to just grab a GPT 4.0 and now I have access to that one I could keep going and with that whole thing in fact let's go ahead just for fun we will add the O1 preview model just to see if it does any better and then we're going to go to the right section now if you're doing this with a book you've already created be sure to back up the book before you go through this process because what we're going to be doing now is going to erase the text that we have so i'm going to like select this text and then completely erase it with the analysis that it's about to give me so make sure your text is backed up if you're using novel crafter but as you can see because i've entered that new prompt into novel crafters library i have it here called the story hacker so all i have to do is select this and hit well pick the model that I want to use. So we'll just start with 3.5 Sonnet and we get paragraph one plot structure. This chapter serves as a pivotal turning point in the narrative, introducing a significant conflict that propels the story forward. The plot structure follows a classic rising action format, beginning with an inciting incident that disrupts the protagonist's normal routine. As the chapter progresses, tensions escalate through a series of increasing challenging obstacles, each raising the stake for the main characters. The narrative employs a mix of external and internal conflicts, etc., etc. Okay. I can already tell there's a couple of issues issues with this. It's not quite getting after what I'm looking for. First of all, it doesn't have a lot of context. So I do want to tweak this to give it a little bit more context. So let's go back to the prompt down to the story hacker. And I'm actually going to give it the entire outline of the book just so that it knows where in the entire outline this fits. So I'm going to add a bit to the prompt that says for context, here is the full outline of this book so you know where the chapter text takes place. And then I'm going to just add my own XML tags here and say outline. And then using the tools located right here inside of Novel Crafter, I can go ahead and select uh, any number of things that it can pull in here. And then I kind of want to change the wording a little bit around that plot centered paragraph because it was just sort of like throwing out terms, which is not necessarily what I want. So I'll say analyze the plot of the structure of the chapter, consider elements such as the overall narrative art. We'll do it here. The first paragraph should detail the overall plot structure of the chapter and its storytelling aspects. And I'll say, and give us an idea of what happens to these characters in this chapter. Examples would be, so I'm going to give it some examples. That's always a good thing to do with AI. Protagonist deals with external threat, speaks to the love interest about their concerns, then travels home, etc. I don't know if that's going to do it, but that's more the tone of what I'm looking for. Discuss what specifically happens to the characters and any character development moments in this scene slash chapter. So now that I've tweaked that, let's go ahead and try this again. Go ahead here to chapter one, copy the whole thing and say the story hacker. And let's actually try 01 preview. This will be a little bit more expensive, but in theory could be higher quality because it does a better job of analyzing and reasoning. And I just identified one of the main issues that we were running into. It actually wasn't analyzing my chapter. It I had not specified here in the te chapter text section where the selection was coming from. So that is totally on me. So the way to do that here in the chapter section is to go do a curly bracket and say context selection. So now what it'll do is it'll put the chapter text here under context selection. Anytime I select a certain amount of text, it will do that. So let's try this again with our enhanced prompt. It should do a better job now. Let's do 01 preview again. And this is all part of the AI writing process. It's diagnosing where you might've messed up. Sometimes I left this in the video specifically so that you could see that this sort of thing happens, that sometimes it's just a little tweak that you need to change and that's all you need to do. So here we go. In this chapter, the protagonist endowed with supernatural abilities pursues an antagonist through the shadows and labyrinth streets of a nocturnal city. She's on the trail of an adversary due to his involvement in a criminal syndicate engaged in nefarious activities, including smuggling and potentially more sinister crimes. Utilizing her heightened senses and uh, exceptional agility, the protagonist navigates the city's underbelly, reflecting on the origins and consequences of her powers. The chase intensifies as she closes in on her target. Uh, this is much better. It's not quite what I want. It's still kind of referencing the 
actual story a little bit too much. I want it to be more of a storytelling template. This is better and we could continue tweaking it until I get it exactly how I like. Then in the second paragraph we have throughout the chapter significant character development occurs as the protagonist grapples with her dual nature and the moral complexities it presents. She internally debates the potential to use her supernatural gifts for good versus the fear of losing her humanity. Her momentary lapse into under controlled behavior when feeding on the antagonist highlights this struggle. So again it's kind of like referencing things too specifically here. Let's actually try this one more time but I'll use a different we'll use a 3.5 sonnet and see what it does. This chapter serves as an introduction to the protagonist's new reality and sets up the central conflict. It follows a classic chase structure with the protagonist pursuing an antagonist uh, through urban streets. The chapter begins with the protagonist stalking her prey showcasing her enhanced abilities and internal struggle with her new nature. As the chase intensified there's a moment of tension when the antagonist realizes he's being followed etc. And this is actually even better than 01 funny enough. I like this much more what I was looking for. Still maybe a little bit too detailed and drawing details specifically from the story but that's something I think I could easily change with a little bit more testing and tweaking. So this is the process that I actually go through for forming my prompts now and it's a much more efficient way of doing things rather than having to figure it all out myself. Now of course in order to do all of those tweakings it's not going to matter if you don't have at least a basic understanding of good prompting. So in order to get that basic understanding make sure you check out this video that I have here where I go through all of my basic prompting techniques inside a major ChatGPT tutorial that is like the best that you'll find out there for writing on ChatGPT. So check out that video now and I will see you in the next video.